there's no definition of a eye socket in my eyelids because my eyelids are so fat. They're so fat, girl. They're fat and juicy. This girl done pop my eyeshadow cherry. Oh my god, that sounds disgusting. I feel sorry. <laughs> Hello my YouTube beauties, it's me again, Brenda, and today I'm doing another tutorial. It's gonna be this um, Halo wannabe tutorial. <laughs> so I'm following the same exact YouTuber from the rainbow look <laughs> that was supposed to be a sunset. So I'm following her again by accident. I just love the way that that smoky halo eye look looked whenever I chose that YouTube video to follow. So if you're interested in watching how I created this, then uh, just keep watching. This is a disclaimer. I am not a professional. I am following the steps that this beautiful woman is, you know, all she's doing. I'm following everything she's doing, trying to follow as closely as possible. I still ended up with this that looks nothing like hers, but I tried. Oh. <laughs> and yes, I have to go out in public again today looking like this. <laughs> all right, y'all. If you want to watch how I created this, just stay tuned. All right. So I'm. Um, looking through YouTube, trying to find a halo, a smoky halo eyeshadow tutorial, and I found one. I'll definitely link that video in my description box. That way I can give this artist credit for her tutorial. You can really find some really cool tutorials. Sometimes I get close to what it looks like on the tutorial, and sometimes it's way off, like the sunset that never really actually came out. Uh, it came out looking like a rainbow that was a failure so today we're gonna try to do this brown smoky halo eye look okay let's get started come to my youtube channel if it's your first time here my name is on and if you have been here already welcome back in today's video i'm gonna play with the newest amrezy palette in collaboration with anastasia Hills. i'm so excited to play with this palette today i absolutely love the colors and the first shade i'm going in with is called new yorker I know like when Amrezy swatched all the shades in her Instagram story, she said that if anyone would use this palette, she had to pronounce the names correctly. And she said it like with this really, I think, kind of New Yorker kind of accent. I just realized this is the same lady that I followed for the sunset look. The same one, cause that's the same exact accent. I think that's the same exact woman, lady, whoever, whatever. So I'm using the shades from Fenty. It's called the Fenty Beauty Moroccan Spice Eyeshadow Palette. Most of the palettes that I do own come from subscription boxes. So, so all she's doing is she's doing the, the crease and buffing it out and just kind of concentrating the shade right in this crease right here. But I don't think my eyeshadow is as dark as hers is trying to find another because I pulled out several palettes I pulled out several palettes to see which one gives me the darker you know the better shade so I'm gonna grab now I'm grabbing a little bit of the brown from this Tarte dream big Tarte palette looks like this I'm gonna grab a little bit of this brown right here yeah yep that gave me some pigment look at it look, 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 look. see and I'm, my eyes are super hooded, um, so, you know, it's really easy to, to put mine through because you can't really tell if I made any mistakes because they're so hooded. You would have to, like, go in close to take a close look to even see that there's a mistake. So, I mean, that's one thing that's good about having fat eyelids. All right. I think this is enough brown. This is basically how I start my eye look. I don't normally concentrate deep dark colors on this corner here like like it, like it has been doing like on the past tutorial that I did in this one. She concentrates the deep darker colors right here to give your, you know, your eye look more definition to give it the illusion that you actually have an eye socket. So, <laughs> yeah, there's no there's no definition of a eye socket in my eyelids because my eyelids are so fat. They're so fat, girl. They're fat and juicy. Keep going. 
Then now next, I'm gonna take this black color and I took a really tiny Morphe M506 brush and I started pressing it first in the outer, no, not in the outer corner, in the inner corner area and then later on, I'm also gonna blend it in the outer corner. Okay, wait. Oh. <gasps> okay, so she has a tiny little brush like this. Yeah, I'm gonna use this one. She used black. And she's putting it right in here. So I'm using the black from my Tarte Shape Tape. I don't know, it's it's the black one on this one. She's putting it right in this corner. I want to create a sort of smoky halo eye look so therefore I first have to create some darkness at the inner corner and the outer corner. So I am going in with some gel eyeliner as well which I'm gonna use to do the same thing as I'm doing right now. I feel like gel eyeliner is like the most black product but I feel like when I do that when I go in with gel eyeliner on the eyelids I want a sort of dark transition underneath that. Transition, you this see that turn? The gel eyeliner just easier to blend out like it's not gonna look really harsh so this is kind of gonna be the under base transition for my gel transition. eyeliner if that makes sense what? now for my gel eyeliner i'm going in with the maybelline studio gel eyeliner which is just a really nice affordable gel eyeliner i really love this hold on i already said it before girl i don't have that but i do have the pretty vulgar the ink gel eyeliner that's what i'll be using this one and then okay. I took a MAC 242 brush, which is a flat shader brush. And I'm kind of going to press it. Wait, wait. So she's putting it here and here. Wait, I haven't finished. She's going too fast again, y'all. Okay, because this is like nice and black. Hang on, girl. Hang on. I'm doing too, too much too fast. Too fast. Let me start doing the other side too because what did she do first again? She put the brown, then she did the black. Okay. It's 5.02 a.m. Mm -hmm. I couldn't sleep last night again. I'm telling y'all, I feel like all I ever do is complain, you know? But I need to go see the specialist for my back. My back is kicking my ass. It hurts. It hurts so bad I can't sleep. I've been drinking these um this medicine that the doctor gave me. They're supposed to be they're muscle relaxers. All they do is make me dizzy. They don't take the damn pain away. So I stopped drinking them because they're not doing anything. Okay, so now so she put the black out here like that. right and right up here and then then she goes in with another like a shader brush um, she goes into the paint pod and then she starts putting it in those areas that she put black like what's the point then if you already did the eyeshadow Like, why would you use a paint pot? Let me just shut up and follow her thing. That's why she has beautiful looks and I don't. Hello. Eyeshadow. And this is just going to make it so much more easier. You can also first go in with the gel eyeliner and then smudge out the edges with black eyeshadow. Um, sometimes I do it this way. Sometimes I do it that way. Uh, it just depends on my mood. I don't even know. Um, I just found this more. Well, 90... 88? Wait, wait, wait. Right. Don't do 1988 nothing. Just give me a second. 2020. Hang on. See, I've never done this before. I have never, never slathered my freaking eyelid with black eye gel. Never done it before. It's the first time. First time, y'all. This girl done pop my eyeshadow cherry. Oh my god, that sounds disgusting. I feel sorry. Right now, because I really blended it out. But now the gel eyeliner kind of smudges into that eyeshadow. And this is just gonna make it so much more easier. You can also first go in with blending around the edges. Then I'm taking this color, which is called 1988. 
trying to go back to that 1988 already. I'm telling you. I ain't giving a girl a chance. Eight. Okay, the 1988. Right. And I'm gonna use that shade around. That one. And just blending it around looks the like a burgundy. Six brush with a little bit of leftover black eyeshadow, and just blending around the edges. Then I'm taking this color, which is called 1988. I'm not sure if I'm seeing that right. And I'm gonna use that shade around the outer corners as well um, to make the transition from black. Just to look at to make it look more better because the the color we used at the beginning that really light okay i don't have the palette that she has she's working with the anastasia beverly hills palette i'm working from several palettes so for that shade that she calls 1988 i'm actually doing a mixture of these two they kind of match the shade that she's putting on so she's just kind of diffusing it right on that black edge in between that oh, light shade um it's obviously a lot lighter than the black eyeshadow so i'm gonna place this color in between the black eyeshadow and in between the light orangey brown color to make the transition look better and this is what i does my transition look make, better it just look more blended out like the more okay everything looks well blended out it's really nice like when you do a makeup look to go back in with the first color you used at the beginning this is just gonna make the transition look just more smooth and more blended out. I just really like when I do a cut crease to kind of cut only at the middle part of the eyelid. And this is kind of gonna make the halo eye look look more clean and more neat. Now I'm taking this shade, which is called okay, okay, okay. Georgina. Uh, Georgina, wait a second, girl. Hang on. I'm telling you, my brushes are not clean. I need to clean my brush. <laughs> I don't have another one like this. Where is this? The one she's doing the cut crease with is this one, and I use black with this. Oh, here it is. Here's one. Here's one. Here's one. I'm gonna go in with my tight shape tape, okay? And I'm gonna do not a cut crease like she said, but it's just like right there, right there. She said it's not a cut crease. I'm not sure. Wait, 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 let me see how you do. to kind of carve out the crease. This is not a cut crease video, but at the same time. It's kind of a halo eye look, but a cut crease at the same time. I just really like when I do a cut crease to kind of cut only at the middle part Not of me, the eyelid. I don't know how to this do that is very well. Kind of gonna make the halo eye look look more clean and more neat. Okay. Now I'm taking this shade, which is called Georgina. Wait, wait. Not sure if I'm. Hold on, Georgina. Let me do this first, girl. Okay. Let's save the stunt way I was supposed to do it. I think. I still don't like the way this is, like it's not as nice as hers. I really should take my time to practice this because I feel I mess it up because I'm going to waste. Because I'm trying not to waste too much video memory. All right, hang on. Uh, State Farm, uh, now, get it. There is one more thing. How rude. They put a commercial right in the middle of my freaking tutorial and I can't even skip it. Okay. Pressing that on top of where I just applied the concealer. Um, this is going to be the base for really the color Liddy, which I'm going to apply after this step, which is a really beautiful color. I really wanted to do a video using that color because I really love glittery eyeshadows. If okay. you don't know by now, I do so many. So it looks like a bronzy gold. So I'm gonna use this one here. That's kind of, well, I'm, I'm gonna use both. This one and that one. Why not? So she did like this. So my, my colors are gonna be a little different than hers. I know. Hush, 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 hush. Okay, keep going. Make glittery going. eyeshadow videos. Um, so I really wanted to play with that color. And when I use glitter, I like to use shades like this underneath it. I just feel like it looks a lot better. But first, I went in with a combination of this pinky color with the dark brown to kind of make the transition from this. What pinky I just color? With that color. And when oh, I no, use glitter, I pink. like to use what? shades like this what? underneath it. No, I, I just feel like it looks. Now she's gonna go with the hot, bright pink color. So I'm gonna use that. I did not see this coming. With the dark brown to kind of make the transition from um, the shade we just applied on the eyelids towards the darkness at the outer V to make the transition look better. 
This is the same with the crease. You always want to go in with a dark shade and then blend it out with a lighter color. Same goes for the eyelids. I used a light color on the eyelids, so I want to use a darker shade at the sides to make it fade into a shade which is even darker. So now I'm taking my finger and I'm pressing it in the color Liddy, which is such a beautiful color and it's just kind of okay. like a... See, you know you're going too fast. You know you're going too fast. Okay, so I did the pink that she did, but mine looks a different color. And she said just around the halo. So I'm concentrating it just around the halo. My boxy charm has pressed glitters. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna, I don't have the shade she's going for. So she's going to a bronze glitter. I'm gonna use this uh, pink her why not sides to make it fade into a shade which is even darker so now i'm taking my finger and i'm pressing it in the color liddy which is such a beautiful color of color it's so okay the pink went perfect on the outside of this because i added all this glitter so again this glitter was from the boxy charm uh, eyeshadow palette that you can give your own twist to this makeup look you don't have to do every step that i'm doing so i just kept it with a simple line above the lash line using a flat divider brush by sigma hold on she's going too fast okay now she buffs it then what else does she do she put something else. color i wanted to pop oh. this in the inner the inner inner thing the inner thing <laughs> so i'm gonna use for the inner i'm gonna use this shade right here off of that fenty palette and it's just gonna go right there go right there in the corner just to give it a little bit of a pop of highlight which i really like I always feel like it kind of finishes off the whole eye look. And then I went in with my favorite mascara. If she's putting on mascara, this better mean she's not putting on big lashes. Last time she did mascara and then she said, oh, now I'm gonna put on my lashes. And I was like, what? I know most people put on mascara before they put on their lashes, but to do that I'm saying hello for mascara I'm gonna be using this Kevin Alcoin okay the mascara which is by Benefit Cosmetics the roller lash mascara which is one of my favorite mascaras and I'm just gonna apply some of that on my lashes I'm also gonna use fake lashes today. I'm gonna use lashes from my own lash company, which is called Anytude. And I'm wearing the style Puffy, which is oh, so one of my favorite own... gold. I don't know how I like this mascara. I didn't see it yet. I have a freaking mess everywhere again, y'all. And if you're wondering, is this lazy girl covering the mess she has back there with the maroon tail? You would be right. I'm gonna be putting these on. These are the more um, dramatic, magnetic eyelashes. The only thing I don't like about these glamnetic lashes is that the eyeliner that's supposed to be what makes the eyelashes stick to your eyelid is a shiny eyeliner and I prefer matte. Yeah, that's the only thing I don't like about magnetic lashes. And I've tried other magnetic, I've also tried other magnetic lash companies and they're all shiny. So I wonder if the formula that they have to use, you know, it would only make sense. Never gonna get it, never gonna get it. Never gonna get it, never gonna get it. Never gonna get it. All right, so this is the finished look. How do, how do the beauty gurus do it?
I will practice that. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching if you are new to if you're new to this channel thank you so much for stopping by and i really do hope you'll consider subscribing like the video if you did like the content of this video that way youtube will know to share the video and then you share the video with anyone you think might enjoy it that way our channel can continue to grow i'll see you guys in my next video goodbye i don't know what that means I, I am no professional okay so this is a definite definite how do you say it disclaimer